case for this problem, we're asked to find the area of the surface generated by revolving x equals square root of 6y minus y squared on the interval 2 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 3 about the y-axis. Uh, and we have our formula here. Now this is a this is a function of y, and it's, it's being rotated around the y-axis, so that's the reason our formula looks a little different than the other video that you'll find on my channel. So... The first thing we need to do is realize that this is a function of y. So I did a little bit of work ahead of time to save some time. So you may want to pause the video here to take a look at some of this work. I'll go through it quickly. We have our function, which I've now named a function of y. I've rewritten it to show the exponent of 1 half to make it easier to use the chain rule. So I brought down the 1 half, took 1 away from the exponent, makes it negative half, rewrote the inside. The derivative of the inside is here. And then to clean that up, this negative one-half exponent means there's a square root on bottom, and the one-half, there's a two on bottom, and this is going to stay on top in the numerator. Okay, on the next step, I factored out a two on the top, and then I reduced it. Okay, so this is f prime of y. Okay, and then to save some time as well, I went ahead and squared this ahead of time. So squaring means the top gets, gets uh, multiplied out, and then the bottom... Uh, the square root and the square cancel, and this is what you get. Okay, so refer back to that as needed. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down, uh, we've got the formula here, so out of screen there, um, we've got the formula here. So s is equal to the integral from 2 to 3, those are our limits, 2 to 3, of 2 pi times the square root of 6y minus y squared times the square root okay we did this because that was the function of y refer back to earlier in the video now this square root comes from the formula one plus and we've already done the g prime of y squared which ended up being nine minus six y plus y squared all over six y minus y squared okay and this is all with respect to y, so dy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to clean this inside up a little bit, uh, and, and then eventually we're going to multiply through this radical into that radical. So let's rewrite part of this. Now we, we're going to combine this 1 with this fraction, which means we need a common denominator, which is going to be 6y minus y squared. So 1 will turn into 6y minus y squared over 6y minus y squared, plus this fraction remains the same. Okay, now they have the common denominator. We can bring the top together, rewrite the bottom. And notice, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this uh, quickly. We have a 6y and a negative 6y, which will cancel. We have a negative y squared and a positive y squared, which will cancel, which will which will leave in the numerator only the nine, and the denominator will be six y minus y squared. So let's write that down. So we have our square root here, and then in the square root, like I said, the numerator is going to be nine, and the denominator is going to be six y minus y squared. Okay. Now in our next step, we're going to multiply this radical by this radical. Uh, which which will basically mean that this 6y minus y squared and this 6y minus y squared will cancel. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and write that out just so you can make sure and see that. So this will turn into one radical. It'll be 6y minus y squared times 9 over 6y minus y squared dy. Could put a parenthesis around this if we want. So you notice that the top and the bottom have the same term, so we can reduce that. And it's, it's left with just a 9 there. So we have the integral from 2 to 3 of 2 pi square root of 9 dy, which is integral 2 to 3 of 2 pi times 3 dy, which will be 6 pi. Now, we have not yet taken the integral. So this is not our answer. We're still we still need to take the integral. So so since there is um, no variable here, uh, then when we take the integral, it's just going to introduce an x or not an x. It's going to introduce a y because it's with respect to y. So this will be 
6 pi y, and we're going to integrate from 2 to 3. Okay, so that's going to be 6 pi times 3 minus 2, which will end up being just 6 pi.